Today, we're going to look at how to find Hikvision devices on your network. This is handy if you've forgotten the password or if you want to make some changes uh, to what the cameras look like when they're recording. Uh, so here we are on my uh, screen. You can see I've navigated just to Hikvision. Just type that up into the search here. Let's just visit their website. Now what I'm actually looking for here is a little tool called the SADP tool. This is a free tool provided by Hikvision for just this purpose. Um, what we do is we can just visit the Hikvision site. We can go into support and go to downloads. And what we're actually looking for here is the SADP tool. So one thing you can do to make it easier to navigate, they've got a lot of content on there. SADP, search for that. Now they do have a Mac and a Windows version of this. Uh, you can see here, currently I'm running on a Mac, so I'd choose that, but obviously Windows you would choose the other one. So you go through the basic installation of that. And once you have done that, which I have already done, you will have the SADP tool on your computer. So straight away when you open up the SADP tool, it will scan the network to see if it can find any connected Hikvision devices. It brings up both uh, network video recorders here, but also cameras as well. Uh, pretty handy if you've forgotten the network address. Now, what this gives you the ability to do is to go back into your web browser and actually connect in. So we've got the IP address here. Um, so I could just now type this in here. And now that's going to get me into the back end of that particular camera. Another way that you can make just quick changes is to click this little arrow here on the side. Uh, choose the camera that you're looking to edit. And providing you already know the administration password, um, you've got the ability to make whatever change you want. You can change the ports, gateways, etc. You can enable hit connect, enable DHCP if you haven't already. Now we've got our setup as static IPs, but straight out of the box they're going to come up as uh, DHCP. So they're going, that means they're going to have a different network address each time. That makes this tool even more useful to you. Um, change the ports. Now, for any changes to actually stick, you have to obviously make the change and then you have to have a valid admin password. Without this, it is not going to work. So if I try and change my HTTP port here to say 81 um, for port forwarding purposes and go in here and put in whatever password, it's not going to work and it's also going to count me down before it locks me out of that camera so yeah, you don't want to keep guessing. If you do get to a point where you have been locked out of the camera, another really handy tool that you can use from the SADP tool is the forgot password tool. As you can see here by clicking in there it allows you to export a file. Now this file can be sent uh, through to us and we will basically regenerate another file for you to be able to import and then create a brand new password. So that password will never actually be revealed to you. Um, it's confidential, um, it's part of the encryption. So it can't be revealed, but can be changed. So as I say, to do that, you click into the forgot password field here. You would go to export. That's just going to bring up a folder on your computer so you can pop it in there um, let's just do a quick demo with that so if we say I'm going to pop this into downloads here and hit choose okay so it's now exported a file into there okay so that file that you're going to need to attach to the email is this .xml file so you would simply open up your mail client click on this attach it to the email and send it through to us and we will attempt to get that back to you within one business day. Okay. Once you get the file back, then what you can do is you can come back to your SADP tool, um, come through to the import file, 
choose your folder and let's just say we've now sent that back and it's this one now that's come through we would select that um, type in the new username as uh, the new passwords here and hit confirm it will give you a save succeeded message and then that is that password now restored to one of your choosing uh, once that's done it's instantaneous and you've got access back through this method to get into it or through your web browser so hopefully that helps you guys if you do get stuck with anything feel free to give us a call or email us and i'll see you in the next video